Thanks. Did it really? Let me go a little bit more. Hey gang, welcome back to your review channel. Today I'm looking at an item that the company did send me and did compensate me to make a review on. This is a nine piece automotive compression test kit. Now it can be used for all types of engines. Compression could be lawn mowers, could be uh, snow blowers, uh, mini bikes, doesn't really matter. If it has an engine and compression, you can use something like this. Let's take a quick look at it and show you what's included in the kit. Uh, really nice quality kit, by the way, I have to tell you. This has everything in, little instructions, give you a little information. I'll go over everything with you real quick. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna go test um, a little uh, bl uh, motor, a uh, blower I have, I found. And I wanna check the compression on that in a few seconds. So stick with me, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it. it comes with all the pieces you need here. It comes with this as well, I'll explain this in a second. So this is the actual gauge itself. It actually checks the compression. It does have a, uh, a check valve here. So what it does is when you run the engine or pull it, or if you're doing a check, on the compression, it'll save the reading, and then when you're done with that, you can release it by pressure, pressing this button here. So that's really nice to have that way you can look at it if you want to show someone, hey, look at this is the compressor I'm getting, or take it to a desktop or a laptop. You want to just um, you know do the research and see what the compression may be on that specific engine. So that's what's really cool about holding that information. That's really great. All comes with all the little adapters. It comes with a, a flex hose here, which is super important. The adapter here, these are all different size engines. Um, let's say um, where the cylinder is, where the spark plug is. These are all different ones that are available. They have O-rings on each one of these to seal it, which is super important. These all fit onto here, just like that there. You can see how it fits on. Super easy, super convenient brass, all high quality stuff here, guys. This is really nice quality. I am very impressed so far. Now, it gives you a bunch of different adapters. Like I said, it gives you the hose. This just snaps in here. What you just have to just, when you do, we just look at release here. So when you push this in, you just grab it, we let go of it, and that's how you install this part here. And this, uh, it's a pressure fitting, basically. Just like that, like push it on, let go of it, and that's how that works. So that's easy enough to understand. And these are little ones that you can actually manually use. Let's say you don't have the right fitting or you can't get into the, you know, it's really hard to get in. Two different angles, have a straight and an angled uh, to get into the certain cylinder that you're getting to, into. That way you can just hold it in real quick, have someone crank it up or, or, or let's say, you know, crank the engine, whatever it is, it pushes against the cylinder and that'll also seal it as well. And then you can get a reading and because, because it saves it, you don't have to worry about losing your compression reading. And that's what those are for. Now, I think that's great to give you all these different options here. And this is another really cool part of testing compression. It's not just compression, also spark. If you don't have spark, you're not gonna start the car, not gonna run. So this will actually check your spark plug. Really easy to use, super simple. You put your spark plug on here, you ground this, and uh, we'll test that, hopefully we'll get that to work. It's got a little light bulb in here, so that'll just flick during the cycle. Uh, when, you're, when you're cranking your engine, or if you're pulling your lawnmower, this will spark and get, it'll arc and give a spark in here and you'll basically so okay, I have compression, I have spark, maybe it's something else. And that's why you use tools like this to diagnose and to go right through what you need. Do you wanna check your engine because it's nothing more frustrating when it doesn't start and you don't know what to do, or where to go. That's what's in here. Definitely, and it comes in a nice hard case. I mean, for the price point, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, back in the day, I used to, I was a mechanic years ago, and a good compression uh, test kit would cost you a, north of $200 for a high quality one. So this is super high quality, definitely the way to go. You can't go wrong with this. All right, let's go out quickly and test it and see how it works. Okay guys, so I'm downstairs in the workshop and I got the uh, Ryobi I have here is a uh, air blower. It's a uh, gas powered blower and picked it up and I want to check the compression and the spark. So I have this toolkit, like I showed you how I opened it up and here is all the, the accessories. Now this one here, simple enough, the spark plugs right under here. So you just pull this out, right here's the spark plug right here. I already have my ratchet ready to go. Let's just pull this out. Really, really easy to do guys. These are usually just put in very easy, super easy to take these in and out. Take this out. So here is the spark plug, and the spark plug looks decent, a little dirty. I'll check the gap on it in a little while, and uh, doesn't smell like gas. It just probably just hasn't been hasn't run in a long time. So here's the spark plug. We'll take that out. Now here's the pipe I was telling you about the the uh, the the, um, the hose. Uh, I checked all the different adapters, and all these adapters are too big. So the one that comes with it is this is the one you can actually screw it right into the cylinder. Okay, so you just basically just screw it in, really easy. And you can just tell on the threads, you can just check. That's why they give you different ones that are available. And you just have to just hand, not too, not too, too tight because you got that O-ring that really takes up the gap. No problem. Take this part here. Again, we're going to attach it like I showed you before with this uh, connector, quick connector. That's what they call it. 
right just pop it in there now that's set to go so what you want to do is just crank this a few times and you'll see this compression going up behind the i'll have to crank it let me show you it's got some compression there you can tell okay so you can see that going up here you can see the compression has gone up quite a bit here so it's uh, almost at almost at a a hundred pretty much very close to about a hundred i'm gonna give it a couple more cranks did it really let me go a little bit more now you can see a little bit higher at about 120 130 and that's normal for this uh cylinder it just pops off like that there uh, and the pressure you heard just comes out of the hose not out of the device you can see here you got the compression is holding it it does work exactly as intended so it works perfectly this is a good engine good compression you can leave it on here too to see if the rings like leak slowly but most likely it'd be fine actually it looks really really good and they release the pressure just press the button super easy just like that now we're going to check for spark we're going to show you how to do that okay so the best way to check for spark is use this tool here this will go inside here like the spark plug would sit inside just snap it right in there that is all connected okay now what you want to do is you want to ground this it's important to ground it or it won't work and this actually slides right out you can see here so i'm just going to take an alligator clip and just ground it to the to the actual uh blower with the negative i'm just going to this will spring over here I'm just going to ground that right here now we're going to see if this lights up now it's um bright down here so i'm just going to lower shut the lights off because it's a very dim dim light so you're going to see if it lights up Hard to see, but it is lighting up. You can see that it does one once. Uh, you can see that light right there. Hopefully, you can see that moving. So it is lighting up. Actually, just got a little shock. Actually, so just be careful of that. It does work. You can see a little lighting. Uh, it does work. It does. It's getting spark. Holds compression. Um, next thing is probably just gas or possibly a carburetor adjustment. That's pretty much it. Those are two things you want to check as compression and spark. And then you go from there. And that's why this kit is really quite awesome. Definitely love it. Definitely going to recommend this for sure. Go ahead and pick this up. You won't go wrong. Nice quality. It works exactly as intended. Appreciate your time. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. There'll be a QR code right over here for this item. Go ahead and click on that. I do get a small commission. It does help my channel. As you know, I do appreciate that and cost you nothing. Also be a link down below in the field. Appreciate it as always. Don't forget, again, to share and like. It really means the most to me. I really do appreciate that and hope it brought you some value. And definitely, this kit is a keeper. I'm definitely going to keep this one for sure. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you at the next review.